This week, Jeff Loveness has been doing lots and lots of talking about Avengers Kang Dynasty, so let's talk about everything he's revealed. Jeff Loveness was the writer on Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and his script was not received that well. Fans have been quite worried about what he's going to be doing with Kang Dynasty when it releases in 2025. I also can see that getting delayed to potentially 2026, but that's for another video. I'm actually not that worried about Jeff Loveness writing this movie. He's revealed to us that he's including Namor, Daredevil, Moon Knight, all characters that I think were 100% going to be in it anyway, and that he's talking about how they've got heavy hitter actors that they're really going to get their moment to shine, noting Letitia Wright and Florence Pugh, which for me personally, they're not the MCU's greatest actors as a whole. They are still incredible in the MCU. Please do not twist my words with that. But they are... They are not the top, top actors in the MCU. I think there's other ones that should have their moments to shine, especially because these two are about to get their moments to shine, or had their moments to shine pre-Kang Dynasty. But then, Jeff Lesnar has also said that he's including Namor, which of course is someone that we've all wanted to see in Kang Dynasty and more projects since Wakanda Forever, because Namor is such a great character, and it's finally great to see him in the MCU being properly represented and properly given justice to which a lot of characters haven't in the past few phases. Now the people that are worried about this film are only worried because of what Jeff Loveness did with Quantumania. Now Quantumania's script wasn't actually that awful. I get people criticising the dialogue like Ant-Man should be speaking in Shakespearean English. Ant-Man's always been goofy and jokey. I don't know why people were expecting this high level dictionary type dialogue. Yes they gave it to Kang and not Ant-Man, but that's to show the different wits. Kang is from 10 centuries in the future. Yet we're concerned as to why Ant-Man isn't as intelligent or talking as smartly as him. It just makes logical sense that Kang would be talking in this way and not Scott. I don't think there's any problem with the dialogue. The dialogue I have a problem with is Cassie Lang. But if I went on a rant about Cassie Lang, this video would be an hour and a half long. So I won't do that. The problem that I had with the script was the way Modoc was written. Modok isn't an inherently comedic character, and yes, he looks goofy. But I think what would make the character so great is having someone so goofy being so menacing. The complete juxtaposition of those two things is what would make the character so great, and instead they just lent into making him a huge comic relief character that did not land well. But, people are saying, oh, but if Jeff Loveness wrote Quantumania, how is he going to do anything good with the Kang Dynasty? The writers... For Endgame, Infinity War, and the whole Cap trilogy also did Thor The Dark World. Thor The Dark World is potentially one of, if not the worst MCU movie. It's probably the most forgettable one. Yes, they had their one slip up, but they've also had this array of incredible top 10 MCU films. So why are we worried about Jeff Loveness? Because he had one slip up. Remember, this is the guy that's written six seasons of Rick and Morty, and they have been incredibly well received. And something like Rick and Morty leans well into a story about the multiverse because it's just so crazy. Now, the other thing that I want to touch on is Michael Waldron. People are concerned about him writing Secret Wars because they're not happy with what he did with Multiverse of Madness. In the Assembled documentary for Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, we are told that Waldron and Raimi wrote the script pre-Covid during the COVID-19 pandemic, Marvel took their script, removed a lot of their work and a lot of the horror elements, and replaced them with a lot more tame content that kids can enjoy. For me, that doesn't work. If you're going to have a writer and put their name on the script, you've either got to ask them to change it, or don't change it. Because then things like this happen. People get the wrong pre-assumptions of a writer, and when they're talking about them, they're talking about their script, which isn't actually their script, it's... Marvel script that they Disneyified to suit the children. Because of this, people get negative opinions, they hold them, and they don't want them to work on anything else. I think Waldron is going to do Secret Wars a huge amount of justice. I think he absolutely crushed it with Loki, and I think the elements that he wrote for Multiverse of Madness were great. I just think if Disney had let him produce his vision, that movie would have been a lot stronger. But 
we obviously didn't see that and unfortunately never will but who knows he might come on as a writer for Doctor Strange 3 and we'll get to see some of these horror elements feed back in because Disney can obviously see that they're removing that because a lot of the negativity behind Doctor Strange 2. Now back to Jeff Loveness and the Kang Dynasty. Yes I'm excited for this film, am I nervous? Obviously. The MCU as a whole has been a pretty nerve wracking thing to be a fan of at the moment. Everything's up and down, we don't know what the quality is going to be like, we don't know what the CGI is going to be like, we don't even know if the cast is going to be great. But I do think the writer for Kang Dynasty is right. If you're going to do a story with all these characters, from all these, with all these variants of Kang coming to fight the 616 heroes, I think you need someone like Jeff Loveness, who can handle the craziness and the weirdness of the multiverse, like he does so well in Rick and Morty. I also think that potentially what we don't know about Quantumania is that how much of the script was Jeff Loveness's and how much was changed by Kevin, Disney and Peyton, uh, Peyton Reed the director. We just don't know. We didn't know any of this until the Assembled documentary came out but we were too quick to hate on Doctor Strange. So who knows, a month down the line when we have this Assembled documentary, we might be led to believe that 20% of the script was only Jeff Loveness and the rest of it was rewritten by Disney. We just don't know, and it's too uncertain at the moment. Quantumania was only Jeff Lovitz's first movie, he's only done predominantly television work. Now that, that doesn't mean he can't write movies, of course he can. Every writer does TV and film. But every writer's going to have their first movie. Now was it Marvel's best decision to go for a writer that has never written a film before for the third Ant-Man movie? Probably not. But was it absolutely god-awful? No. But was it top-notch writing either? No. It was just a happy medium for me. And I'll accept that for now. And as much as I'm trying to back up Jess Rubness here and not make people worried about Kang Dynasty, I'm of course nervous about it because Quantumania was not top notch. But he started writing it now. They're not gonna be shooting until late next year, early 2025. I can see it getting a major delay. He's got ages to work on this script and ages to perfect it. There is no reason why it can't be amazing, and right now I think it will be great. But obviously it remains to be seen, and we've still got a two, three year wait for it to happen. But as of right now, I'm not too worried about it. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about Jeff Loveness writing the Kang Dynasty, and what characters you want to see in Kang Dynasty in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.